Welcome to Section 6, which effectively deals with balancing the server load. A single node server can typically handle several thousand simultaneous connections. However, as the audience of an application grows, it is important to make sure that the application is scalable. On the server side, this means that we may want to distribute our applications across multiple threads or node instances. The issue with distributing your application across nodes is that when we emit a message, it will only be received by one of the distributed servers. Sockets that are not connected to the same server as the one that receives the message will not be able to receive it without some additional handling. Luckily, there are some great ways to pass session data between servers with a caching system, such as Redis, mCache, or RabbitMQ. By using adapters for one of these distributed caching mechanisms, we can easily scale our servers without compromising our socket I.O. connections. In this section, we will cover different topics ranging from starting off by load balancing with Nginx server. Then, we'll be using the Node.js cluster. Next, we'll see the use of memcache to manage multiple nodes. Finally, we'll use Redis to pass events between nodes and RabbitMQ to message events across nodes. The first video deals with load balancing using Nginx. In this video, we're going to take a look at what Nginx is and how it helps us in load balancing. Then we'll add upstream nodes for balancing and watch load balancing in action. Nginx is a free, open source, high performance HTTP server and reversed proxy. Unlike traditional servers, Nginx doesn't rely on threads to handle requests. Instead, it uses a much more scalable asynchronous architecture. This architecture uses small and predictable amounts of memory under load. We can use Nginx to load balance our node servers, and if it is configured correctly, we won't have to worry about requests being lost between the original handshake and the callback when events are received. Before we can do effective load balancing with the Nginx server, we will need to install it. Nginx can be installed with Homebrew. Simply type in brew install Nginx. Once Nginx is installed, you can start it by running sudo Nginx. You can also stop it by simply running sudo Nginx dash stop. To load balance a socket I.O. app using Nginx, open your Nginx config file. Find the HTTP section of the nginx.config file and add your list of upstream nodes. On the server or location, configure your proxy to pass all the headers from the original request. Start your Nginx server by using sudo nginx. By default, your server will listen on port 8080. Our server will listen to port 8080 and our client will display the word hello. Let's run nginx by running sudo nginx and then node server. Now, when we navigate our browser to localhost 8080, we should get hello. You can switch it to a different port if you need to in the nginx.config file. The nginx server will proxy through your node server or servers. It will dynamically decide which server needs to be hit by looking at worker processes and worker connections, which is inside the events object as you can see here. The worker processes indicates the number of workers that Nginx should use. By default, it is set to 1, so it should be bumped to allow multiple workers. You can optimize both of these as needed. That's all about load balancing with Nginx.